I've said more than once that you will fail your way to success. And I've also said more than once that he or she who stays focused the longest and takes action usually ends up being much more successful. So I wanted to give you a case study on that. Let's call this person Michael, not his real name. And the reason I do that is while I signed up to have people contact me, uh, he did not sign up for that. And what I don't want to invite for him is, which happens a lot, is a bunch of people calling, texting, emailing him with a bunch of questions when he should be focused on continuing to build his business. So again, let's call him Michael. So I ended up getting a, an email from him. And Michael had been through my course. He'd been in group coaching. He got thrown out of group coaching for failure to submit a weekly report on time. But when he did, I told him, keep pushing, keep focused, and keep working it. And he did that. So last Thursday, I got an email from him. We closed the first deal. And it says, I'm not going to tell you the industry he's in, but it's in uh, healthcare. So he said, uh, it's in healthcare, and we have purchased four locations. This is in the United States. Four times multiple, 575 adjusted EBITDA, 60% seller finance, 15 years amortized at 3%, a balloon payment in year five. We closed it three days before the owner left the country, his motivation to sell. That's why I had to accept the bank with a PG. I spoke to 500 plus banks. I had another bank without a PG, but the deal was not in their territory. Time wasn't on our side, but the other terms of the bank are good a 10-year loan. Hurdles along the way. One board member questioned what I bring to the table. I replaced him with two better ones. Legal representation canceled the engagement two days before the first board meeting. I found a better one with better conditions. The accounting firm said they wanted $30,000 retainer per deal one day before starting due diligence. I replaced them within a week. First deal broke because the numbers were not good. Second deal was a broker deal. And then he says, I know, I know, never again, Bruce, who fucked me three days before the closing. So then the third deal finally closed. I'm broke now, maxed out on my credit cards and will barely make my rent. But it was worth it. When I have money in the account, again, I will look for options to get back into your program. Now I will focus on getting good at making deals. Thank you for everything, Bruce. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you or this methodology, which I learned from my mentor. The important things here are that he kept pushing. Did he, was he doing some things wrong in the having to talk to 500 banks? Yeah, I think so. That was a hurdle for him on the personal guarantee front, and we can talk about that if you are a mentee of mine. But uh, with that exception, and even with talking to 500 banks, he continued to talk to banks until he ended up being successful. And I suspect that what will happen here is while he had to sign a personal guarantee that he will focus on the business and he will get it profitable beyond what it is now. Uh, it's profitable today. And then he'll be able to take out that first facility and get to one without a personal guarantee. But as he said here, he's going to focus on new deals. The other thing that's important is that he focus on running those first four locations very well. Uh, I ended up mentioning to Michael that there was a person that I worked with that was really good in this space, and he might want to contact that person with respect to getting his input and potentially being a board member. And he did come on board. So I just wrote a thank you note to him. And he said, uh, thanks, Bruce. Appreciate the comments and confidence. Michael is off to a great start thanks to your mentorship and his ability to select a seasoned and veteran board. I'm glad to be involved and I hope I can bring ex expertise and experience to the opportunity. Now that we have the first one done, we can fine tune the experience and move forward with additional acquisitions. There are certainly a plethora of them out there. Hope all is well, et cetera, et cetera. So again, one of the really important things is 
the board around you. Does Michael have experience in this area specifically? No, he doesn't, but he's put together a good board, which at the end of the day carried the day. So I enjoy passing these along. I'm going to do a lengthy Q&A with Michael, so you can look forward to that. I get a lot of feedback that that's helpful. And again, if you're wondering what he learned, you can uh, grab the all-new Deep Dive Boot Camp on my website, briswhipple.com. If you are on my email, great. If not, go over to go uh, briswhipple.com and just grab a free report there. If you want to go directly to that free report, it's go.briswhipple.com forward slash free class. So again, he or she who stays focused the longest has the best chance of winning as long as they take action.